Do you have an older radio or a cheap radio that doesn't have any kind of digital noise filtering? Well, stay tuned. I've got something for you. And it looks a little something like this. This is the BenQ Travolo U Bluetooth speaker. BenQ claims they have some AI filtering technology that can remove the static from radio communications. Let's take a look at it and see how well it actually does. But first, let's go over some of the features. Here's some of the features of this speaker. It's Bluetooth 5. It has a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input so if you don't have Bluetooth on your device or your radio and you have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, it has the three and a half millimeter auxiliary input and it does come with the cable. So it's just plug and play. It does have a fairly large lithium battery inside. Uh, on BenQ's website, they say it will last about 12 hours. I'm not 100% sure on that. I have not tested it that long to see if the battery does last 12 hours or not. I did, however, use it on my recent POTA activation. I didn't have any kind of issues with battery life on it. It lasted the whole time. It also has USB-C charging, and it does come with a USB cable and the wall wart. It also has a built-in microphone right on the front of it. It works pretty good for uh, phone calls or whatever else you want to use it for. If you take a look at Temporarily Offline's video, Steve used it and Bluetooth the thing to his uh, 705 and he was using the Vox feature and just using the microphone on the speaker and talking right into it and not having a problem. There are three different modes on this speaker. There's music mode, video learning mode, and the live learning mode. And this last mode, the live learning mode, this is the, uh, we'll call it uh, digital noise reduction mode. And this is the mode that we want to use for any kind of ham radio. There's also a downloadable app for the speaker, and that will unlock a few other features, like being able to customize a sound profile for exactly what you want. And we'll kind of go through that later. But it's available uh, for both Android and Apple devices. Let's jump over to the overhead, and we'll take a closer look at this speaker, what it all comes with. And uh, I'll go ahead and get a tape measure out and give you a few measurements. All right, so here's everything that does come in the box. You get the speaker, your USB-C cable, your wall wart, which is actually pretty good quality. And you get your three and a half millimeter aux cable. And if you notice, it's tip ring ring sleeve. So here's the overall speaker itself. Up top, it's got a few different buttons. You've got your power button, your Bluetooth button, uh, volume up, volume down, and this is what they call the safe volume button. Essentially, it uses the proximity sensor, which is one of these two on the front, uh, to adjust what it thinks is the safe volume based on how far away you are. And then this is the button to switch between modes. If it's it by default, it's what, when you turn it on, it goes to music mode, which is no LED. And this is the video learning mode, which is just a solid white LED. And then the live learning or AI powered mode, which, uh, which is what we want for our digital noise filtering. Uh, it'll be a flashing white LED. And overall dimensions on this thing, it looks like it's a little bit shy of seven inches long, roughly about four inches tall. And about two and a half inches thick. And on their website, they do say it weighs about two pounds. So it's a pretty hefty little, uh, little device. So let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up to my 818 here, which, which does not have any kind of digital noise filtering whatsoever. So this is a perfect test. 
and I am going to be using the three and a half millimeter cord to plug it right on into the headphone jack. And to plug it in where the charging port and the three and a half millimeter jack are located are right behind this little white panel on the back. Just flip it off and spin it out of the way and plug it right on in. But first, let's go ahead and go through, find a couple stations and uh, see how it sounds just coming out of the radio. So now we're going to switch over to the speaker and to the live learning mode and let's see how much noise that it actually removes. Steve, uh, describe your antenna to Dave there. Uh, it's just a vertical upside down L, isn't it? What is it? Something like 20, 20 foot up or less? And then, uh, Maybe 20 foot over or something like that. Uh, what, what's the description of your antenna there, Steve? Half wave in Switching over the music so mode. It, uh, and my, it sounds like you're doing something similar to me, Dave. Uh, the antenna radiating wire itself is uh, stranded. Now switching over to the video learning mode. Jacket and the, uh, the insulator hive out at the end is black for the same reason. <laughs> I didn't want to put and now back to the live there. learning mode. Uh, And now let's go back to the speaker on the Yezu. And now let's jump back to the speaker. So as you can see, it does do a really good job of actually getting the noise and taking static out of the audio. And there's a pretty big difference between the speaker built into the Yezu and this portable speaker. So now we're gonna jump into the app and we're gonna go ahead. One of the things that I don't really care for, you do have to share your location with them. So I guess it is what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect and it looks like there's a firmware update available for the speaker. I'm gonna go ahead and install this later. And then it is asking me if I want to uh, go ahead and do the test to create my own sound profile that's best for me. I'm gonna also do that later. And as you can see here in the app, I've got it connected to my S23 Ultra. Uh, it is also at 99% battery. Current mode that it's on is music. And you can switch the modes just by tapping on each thing. All right, so another thing you can do, you can go ahead and click on the gear icon up in the top right corner. And you've got different modes. You have the, the guide up top. You've got sleep mode, which if you wanna turn that on, um, you can listen to whatever the heck you want. 
and it'll turn off after 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that because I don't want that. And this true wireless stereo, um, it looks like you can link two of these speakers together. Uh, you can change the language if you want to. You've got your choice of English or Chinese. Mine came already set up in English, so that's always great. If you get a call, uh, it does play some kind of ringtone. You can turn that off. Uh, you can also have it do the auto power off, which it should power off after a while of no usage. I do kind of want to have that on just in case I forget to turn the thing off. And if you go down to version, it'll tell you exactly all of your version numbers. So if you want to set your own kind of sound profiles, if you click on this little ear up right up here in the sound mode area, the top right corner of the sound mode, you can set up your own sound profiles just by tapping on this new sound profiles. And it looks like it'll be a quick five minute little test, but that really looks like about it of the app. And the app itself is pretty nice overall. I like this speaker, it works. It does what they say it does. And even when I had it close to the radio, it doesn't put off any kind of RFI, so that's great. It did not raise my noise floor one bit. Now, even though the speaker does work and does work pretty well, would I take this on like a soda activation where I'm climbing a mountain or a different POTA activation where I'm having to hike in a long way? Probably not. It's a little big, it's a little bulky, and According to their website, it weighs about two pounds. And I don't want to add an extra, that much extra weight just to have a little bit better speaker to hear stuff. Now, if I'm just going out to do a normal POTA where I'm not hiking in anywhere and I'm just going to a park bench fairly close to the car, am I going to use it? Yes, definitely I'm going to be using the speaker, especially on my FT818 because the AI learning feature of this thing, it works great. Now, will I use it on my 891? Yeah, probably. Even though my 891 does have digital noise filtering, having a better speaker facing at me will probably help me pick out more call signs and pick them out easier out of the noise. So yes, it's a nice speaker. I like it. Now, it is a little expensive. Currently on Amazon, it does retail for $209. So there is that, but it's an, like I said, it's a nice speaker. I've paid around a hundred dollars or a little over a hundred dollars for other Bluetooth speakers and they don't have near the features that this one has. So there's that too. I don't know. Only you can make up your mind if you want to drop the money on a nice speaker. It will be interesting to see what other manufacturers probably start to follow suit with these kinds of Bluetooth speakers. I do have one recommendation for BenQ. This color scheme, I don't like it. Just make it in black. Black is perfect for a speaker. And if they could, maybe a little smaller would be nice too. But that will probably be really detrimental to the sound quality. So I don't know, they can kind of decide on that but I really would like them to offer it in black. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up button below. If you wanna see more content like this, and I've got some more reviews coming, click that subscribe button so you don't miss them. And leave me your thoughts about this speaker or other speakers like this down in the comments. I'll take a look, see what I think. Thanks for watching, 73.